In this video, we will try to understand the automobile chassis. It has various components which are named below. Chassis is classified according to various criteria like its control and fitting of engine. Now this is forward wheel drive. Uh, the engine is mounted on frame which is main part of chassis. There are various functions of the frame. Body is made up of large number of steel pressing which are welded together. Chassis is a vehicle frame on which various parts are mounted. Bonnet. It is a hinged cover over engine. Life picture of bonnet. This is coolant storage which stores the coolant. This is fuse box which protects the wiring. Engine control unit which controls the series of actuators. Turbo charger. It increases the IC engine efficiency. Another live picture of coolant storage. Air filter which removes the solid particulates. Brake fluid storage which amplifies the brake force. Anti lock braking system. Wiper fluid which cleans the windshield. Battery which supplies the electrical power. Engine oil checker that checks the engine oil. Springs deflect as the car goes over a bump, then bounce back. The car would continue to bounce up and down if the energy stored in springs were not dissipated in some way. Dampers, commonly known as shock absorbers, perform this function. A damper has a piston which moves inside a sealed oil-filled cylinder with the, with the up and down movement of the wheel. There are narrow control passages and one-way valves in the piston which allow oil to flow through it from one chamber to another but only very slowly. This action slows down the spring oscillations and returns the car to a level ride. There are three types of dampers. Telescopic dampers look like telescopes and shorter in the same way. The exhaust system is an assembly in a vehicle's engine that takes care of burnt gas that engine produces. It consists of exhaust pipes through which exhaust gas flow through from one chamber to another. A header which collects the same gas from different cylinders and directs it to the pipers. A catalytic converter which converts the pollutant gases produced during combustion into less harmful substances. A muffler which reduces engine noise and a turbocharger which increases engine power. Resonator. It makes exhaust note louder and aggressive. A hydraulic braking system transmits brake pedal force to the wheel brakes through pressurized fluid. Converting the fluid pressure into useful work of braking at the wheels. The braking pedal relates the driver's foot effort to the master cylinder piston, which compresses the brake fluid. This fluid pressure is equally transmitted through the, throughout the fluid to the front disc caliper pistons and to the rear wheel cylinder pistons. As per the regulations, a separate mechanical parking brake must be incorporated with at least two wheels. This provision also allows the driver to stop the wheel in the, fish in the event of failure of the hydraulic braking system. In, the, in a hydraulic braking system, the braking force is directly proportional to the ratio of master cylinder cross-sectional area to the disc or drum brake wheel cylinder cross-sectional area. Petrol tank. It stores the petrol. Front suspensions. Close view. Radiators are the heat exchangers used for cooling IC engines, mainly in automobiles, but also in piston engined aircraft, railway locomotives motorcycles, stationary generating plant or any similar use of such an engine. IC engines are often cooled by circulating a liquid called engine coolant around the engine block where it is heated, then through a radiator where it loses heat to the atmosphere and then returned to the engine. Engine coolant is usually water waste but also maybe oil. It is commonly 
to employ a water pump to force the engine coolant to circulate and also for an axial fan to force air through the radiator these are the various other parts of the car like hydraulic lines and the differential and the axle and now starts the live video of the car please enjoy